Hi there, this is Bill on Path 8 and today I'm going to show you how we do square root. So first of all I will start with my branch and in this tutorial I will, I will use x, y and stuff like this, not number 1, 2 because it will just confuse me and you and so I will just use x, y and stuff like this. I'll also use counter and I will also need some kind of message if the if the number is not squareable so that will be ASCII string So I have my variables declared. I will go to my main and I will <coughs> start with the coding. So first of all, I need the input. So input of x, then I will load zero and I will store it in y just to have the uh, y as zero as for the moment from the beginning. Now I will load um, I'll load um, one, I think, and I and store. Actually, I can load. Mm, that will be wrong. Load um, Z. And um, actually, yeah, actually, I will just um, load one and I and store it in Z. Okay, so that's my. Uh, uh, code before the loop so this one will be the loop code okay so I start with load x uh, I mean y sorry z and then and then I add uh, sorry my nose h uh, I add uh, z and I store it in y Okay, now I load the counter. And I subtract one. And I start the counter. Now I need to compare to zero. So if the counter is zero, it's actually I will have the branch as greater than. So if the counter is greater than, go to the loop. If it's not carry on, I want to carry on. It's just the condition to check if it's greater than. Okay, so what I do now is load y and I compare it to z. So compare uh, x, I sorry, like xd. Okay, so I have my um, load y, so y will be compared to um, x. So I will branch it now branch is equal so if it's equal I will go to out branch and if it's greater than branch and um, greater than I'll go to out 2 and else I will carry on with the go code so I will load uh, Z I will add 1 to it and I will store it in Z and I will also store it in counter uh, sorry mm, store in counter Z so this way I will have stored the one the, the value in Z and the counter and now I will just do load 0 and store in Y and because the reason is I want each time I loop I want the y to be zero so I can do new calculations that the result will not add to it so so that way I will have proper calculations okay so I'll branch it to um, loop and then I will have my 
out stay and actually do out to first out to so that will be message if if the um, number is not squareable so what I do is um, say the string output and I'll say a um, message and I will branch it to stop and uh, later on I will just do the stop uh, okay so this will be out yep that will be out and this will um, print out the number so um, decimal output small output and I will be set D and I will stop it and end it uh, actually I need um, okay because I declared a branch here so I need the branch in here as well okay so end it now okay so I finished my program uh, let me just close the window close the window let me just run the program so for example if I input 5 it says the number is not squareable because you can't square it but if I input 9 it's free so 3 times 3 is 9 so 3 to square is 9 so for example if I put um, 6 it's not 4 it is because it's 2 uh, 16 can put uh, I can put 32 maybe I don't know no but I can put as well 121 or 144 or 256 so whenever I put it will show me um, the number that I square to get this result or it will say I can't square the number to get this result so if I put some kind of something like this it will say the number is not squareable so if I square some kind of number I will never get this value so how this program works first of all I have my four variables those are for calculation from X to Z counter is for counting and message is for displaying the message as you know and um, is this one uh, when the number is not squareable so first of all I have my input I load 0 and store it in Y, so Y will be initially as 0 at the beginning. I load 1 and store it as Z, so Z will be 1 from the beginning. And then I enter my loop uh, branch. I will have load Y, so I will load <coughs> Y, which is 0. I will add Z, so it will be 1. And then I store. I load the counter, subtract 1. One counter is initially as 0 or 1. I, I don't know what the initial value. I think 0 or 1. I don't know. But if I uh, subtract 1, it either be, will be 0 or minus 1. So it means it's not greater than. So it will carry on with the code. Then I load y. So y is 1. And I compare it to x. So the value I have here. And if it's equal to then the result is that is a square square able and if it's greater than then it means um, that the uh, number um, is not it, it's not square able okay and if I go through this so either of them is not true I will go to load Z I will add a one to it I will start to Z and to counter and I will load 0 and store in Y so um, always at the beginning of the code here I will loop to uh, I will branch to loop so at the beginning here I will always have Y as 0 so that way I will not you know for example if Y was here 1 and I add 2 for example uh, the calculation would be messed up so that's why I, I validate it as 0 at the end of the code and then branch it I think that's it for this tutorial. As I said, it's quite long. The code is quite long. Have a look. Um, actually, I can get rid of this. I think. Okay. Mm. So that's the code. And 